opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. e6 creates an opening for the dark squared bishop and opens a new diagonal for the queen. d4 offers to trade the more important central d4 pawn for the c5 pawn in exchange for more control of the center and quick development. Cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nc6 challenges the knight on d4 and controls the e5 square. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and puts more pressure on the d5 square. Qc7 defends the knight on c6 and controls the important d6 and e5 squares. B3 develops the bishop and defends the knight on d4. A6 prepares the b5 pawn push and stops the white pieces from coming to b5. B2 develops the bishop toward the center and prepares castling. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center, controls the d5 square and attacks the e4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. B7 develops the bishop toward the center and prepares to castle. This threatens to kick a knight. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a knight. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. That's not a mistake but it's not the best move either. It is good. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is the last book move. This threatens to attack a trapped knight. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to attack a trapped knight. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to attack a trapped knight. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to reveal an attack on a pawn. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. It is best. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This moves the bishop to safety. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. Recaptures. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This takes an outpost, an active square where the bishop cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is excellent. This evades the check from the bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures, from a previous move. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. It is good. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is good. This ignores a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. There were worse moves, 
but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is good. This exposes an attack, threatening a rook. It is best. This activates a rook by getting it to the seventh rank and also restricts the opponent's king. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is best. Takes back. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Very precise. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. This threatens to win a bishop. It is best. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This stops the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is excellent. This is the strongest option. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. This wins a knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.